How's it going? It's Stoughton, and we're back here with Red Dead Redemption 2, Part 5. Give me a second here. Forgot to turn on the monitor to play the game. So... We have just loaded in to the game, and I am seeing that somebody has smashed the communal cash box. A lady came up to me and told me to investigate it. As always, folks, you know there's going to be spoilers in this playthrough. watching this if you don't want to spoil the game. Hey Arthur. You wanna talk? Yeah, what'd you do? Did you smash the money bin? Wait a second. I thought we were investigating the money box. You okay, Arthur? Sure. You don't look okay. Everyone's wondering what's wrong. Acting like a fool. How so? Well, I've been robbing a bunch of people that didn't deserve it. Making me easy money. This may be one of the first heart to hearts in this game. Well, one, you know, one of the few I've seen. Underneath, I mean. I lost my mind, Mary Beth. Holy crap. And what we do best is catching legendary animals. And that's what we got lined up for today, folks. Catching us a handful of legendary animals. So, unfortunately, we ain't got enough time to talk to Susan. Is that Susan? Mary Beth. We need to get up out of here. And we need to catch us a nice fish. Okay. Hurry up. And we're gonna hitch a ride on our Arabian night. But not after we first pamper our horse. Because as I've said before, and I'll say again, if your horse ain't happy, you ain't happy. And it's just that simple. Let's give it a nice pat. And we'll be on our merry way to catch us a nice fish. There we go. Gotta have to head on right. Okay, folks. Where we're looking for is a place at the Elysian Bowl. I believe there's a nice legendary fish that is just begging to be caught. And we can do that kitchen, I believe. All right, girl. Whoa. Oh, that's well, Javier. Here we are. Forgot who that was. Yeah. Well, we didn't really know who it was. Okay, so we're making our way to the beautiful place that we will hopefully nab us a nice fish. Let's see if we can do a jump. Great. Well, we didn't quite stick to landing, folks, but uh, how's the horse doing? Tell you something, this horse is like a real tough son of a gun. Some salary sticks to compensate for the, the damage of jumping. Now, I believe what I want to do is pull out the fishing rod. I believe. 
believe we'll need a special lake lore which we already have. And we will cast out into the unknown depths of this, you know, like a lesion pool. Holy crap, something's got the line almost. Okay, it's going real nuts, folks. Gotta be careful. He's going crazy. He's doing real resist resistance. You gotta like pull and, and reel. Okay, we gotta get this sucker. We can't let him leave. This is gonna be a cold fish. I'm in awe that we've found this elusive, you know, like a mammal or whatever the hell it is in this pool. When you look at that legendary perch, let's read the compendium, folks. The legendary perch can be found in Elysian Bull. Local fishermen state that the best way to attract this fish is with the special lake lures. It has been noted that this fish becomes more active during sunnier weather. The estimated size of the legendary perch is considered to be around 19 inches and weighing over 2 pounds. And you better call the company that did Resident Evil because we got a zombie fish on our hands. Look at that son of a gun. And he's biting my thumb. And he's got teeth, I can see he's got teeth in his mouth. He's got two mouths too, it's like a mutated fish. Let's look at this son of a gun. Two sets of mouths. Fish like teeth like a piranha. And we're holding it. We're liable to turn into a zombie. And we're gonna get sick, frankly, with this fish, but... Yeah, you can stay. We're going to take it anyway, folks. I believe we are accomplished in the fishing game for today. That was a beautiful catch. And I'm glad that it weren't too hard. And also, that we uh, didn't throw it back by accident. Now, folks, I wanted to go pay my friend a visit. I met a peculiar fellow the other day. He was telling me about his life, love, and loss. Now he's an interesting guy. On first glance, he might scare the hell out of you. But, uh, you know, he's really just a kind soul. And I believe his name is Banjo Bob. And, uh... Well, let's see if he's at his porch. Hey, Bob. I hear Bob's music, but I ain't seeing him on the porch. Hey, have you seen Bob? Well, I'm Bob's friend. Life is pretty good. I want that good for you. Well, let's hope it continues, huh? Okay. I think I hear the beautiful banjo pluckings of none other than the world-renowned Banjo Bob. Here he is, folks, live in concert with his four-stringed, steel-stringed instrument, the banjo. His fingers move swiftly across from the first fret all the way to the twenty-second however the hell many this one is. And he plucks a music so serene and amazing that it just has you recall in the days of old when things were much simpler. Play, play, play them strings, Bob. Lose yourself in the process. Looks like Bob's turned into a zombie as well. Must have gotten bit by the fish. Nothing for you to concern yourself with. Get on out of here. 
Bob's getting angry. And when he's angry, he doesn't play the banjo too well. Okay, okay, keep your hair on. Bob, you gotta do something about them feet, man. We gotta get you some boots or something. Or even skin me up, grizzly bear. Risk life and, you know, limb just to get your c covered up a bit, man. Not quite. But, uh, you have yourself a great day, Bob. And we'll come back later to, uh, hear your beautiful tunes. Come on. Folks, <laughs> we have paid Bob a visit. Our second objective is to now head over to a place sort of far from here. And we are tracking a elusive, beautiful reptile known as the Bull Gator. That is another one of them legendary animals. And I believe it resides in the swamps at Lagris. And it's like the size of two men. And it's a real one. Sight to behold is what I'm told. So we're gonna, you know, like scale across the land here. Find our way over to this great creature. And hopefully, just hopefully, take it. the 
myself. Looks like we got another animal carcass. Crap. Where could this thing be? Where is the trail leading? Is that? That can't be it, can it? There's the legendary bull gator, folks. Let's study it. What's the info? Alligator tooth that can be used in crafting. Use a bow with an approved arrow for a clean kill. What a good thing about these legendaries is that you don't gotta worry about your weapon. How you doing? Folks, just like that, we have hunted the legendary bull gator. Look at this sucker. Holy crap. You can even ride it like a skateboard. I wish it was a friendly thing, because to be honest with you, I'd prefer this thing much well over a horse. Oh crap, she heard me say that. She's going to be angry. This horse is acting peculiar. She's sitting in the middle of a swamp filled with, you know, like crocodiles. Well, let's get the uh, legendary skin, shall we? Holy crap. Look at that. We got its legendary tooth. And there you go, folks. Legendary bull gator. Let's read about it. The legendary bull gator is native to the swamp land near Lagras. Bayou N.W.A. I think I heard a few songs by that group. The alligator can be easily spotted by its large size and its albino scales. As a carnivorous apex predator, it feeds on fish, birds, amphibians, and mammals. A bow with improved arrows or a long scoped rifle is considered to be the best weapon for hunting this alligator. Killing this animal will give you the opportunity to craft a rare talisman. Folks, we did it, and let us bid our friend adieu. Listen, it was nothing personal, you know, but we needed your beautiful wife. Uh, belt. And look, he's shaking his head. He's like, no, you didn't. He's like, he's like, listen, I'm going to be waiting for you down below if you catch my drift. And I'm saying, see you there. Okay. Whoa, well, when you, when you look in first person, the view is tilted. Holy crap, that had some detail, because we're carrying this big skin. I was wondering what the heck was going on. Okay, we need Arabian Night to hurry her ass up and get over here. We got ground to cover, and we ain't really in the mood. Though I did just catch me a rare gator, so I'm feeling pretty chipper. I believe I'll eat me some meat. Some venison, to be exact. Now we've got an objective. It is to make our way to San Denis. Give the gator skin to a trapper and give the tooth to a fence. Luckily them two are located directly next to each other. And it will all go off without a hitch. On our way we go, folks. Beautiful day out here in the 
in the St. Annas. Now let's try to do a trick up this bridge by like going up the beam. Crappy dodging the beam. And there's a, uh, you know, a, a smart horse. He ain't willing to risk going up on a bridge of beams. Like Tony Hawk, pro skater. Hello, sir. Okay, let us make our way. We have a question mark here. That typically means there's somebody to interact with. Oh, and it went away. Wonder if it's getting too late or something. Okay, I'm real excited to see what we get out of selling this crocodile skin. Crap. Okay, lots of people in here. It's like Black Friday out of here, folks. We got people ready to pick up their, you know, 4K TVs. Holy crap, who's this guy? I think I've seen him in a Bruce Lee movie. Listen, I'd like to sell you the rare, elusive bull gator skin. And while I'm at it, maybe a cougar and a wolf pelt. He gave me 50 big ones. That's almost enough for a PlayStation 4 game, folks. Okay, we're gonna craft a garment out of that alligator skin. Well, we got a new gun belt possible. Let's get that. Now let's see what we got in the way. Okay, we got a feather. Pioneer feather in the head. Pretty cool. We can make a rustic vest out of a cougar belt. Look at all this crap. It's pretty cool. Bad wing chips. A perfect moose pelt. The other day I got me a perfect moose pelt. But I believe it fell because I fell off of a, you know, like a uh, waterfall. Okay, where's the gator set? It told me I could craft stuff with the gator skin, didn't it? Maybe not, folks. We got a coyote hat. That's pretty cool. Whoa. Gator hat. Holy crap. We look like the fastest, wildest gun in the West. In the vest. In the Fowlers. Holy crap. We updated her kit quite a bit. Got some moose moccasins out of the deal. Holy crap, folks. But let us put back on our bear hat to keep in fashion with the, uh, the episode here. Beautiful. Now we will head to the trapper. Or to the, to the fence. Hello. You look like my long lost aunt Babushka. Don't think this day can get much worse. The Lord won't give you nothing you can't handle. Okay, where is this guy? Hello? Hear me well. I have powerful friends and they would be put off seeing me kill you. Okay. Let me craft a legendary gator uh, tooth, please. Are you telling me? We need a vintage Civil War handcuffs, a gold jointed bracelet, and a tooth. So we need two things that I ain't never seen before. Well, that's quite interesting. I ain't got them things. Maybe later I'll try to find them. Hey 
Oh, yeah, they're wearing in Paris. It's in Paris. It's just like Black Friday. You're gonna just smash people over to get the hell out of the lines. Okay, let's get out of here before they call the security. Oh, crap. We're getting in trouble. We gotta get out of here. Oh, crap. Now the question mark ain't available. Well, at least it was something pretty minor, you know, like... It was sort of like a Black Friday scuffle there. Or nothing too big. Let us escape this area, please. Seems like a good hiding spot here. Okay, let's just hang out a bit. And let's see if the question mark comes available after this. The rain has settled in. And with it, the air is dense and smells strange. Okay, we ain't got no bounty because I suppose that weren't too big of a deal. Let's check out this dang question mark here. What the heck happened? Donate to the poor. I'd like to, but it ain't letting me. Whoa, there's a bell on the ground. Hey, I didn't just knock somebody over. Definitely wasn't me. Sorry about that. Folks, let us stay tonight in this tavern if we can. And then hopefully we can do that question mark tomorrow. Let's sleep out the storm. Crap, we ain't got a dang room up here. Let's check the other, uh, the other saloon. See if we can't stay the night in there. And then sort of like do the question mark the next day. Okay, let's check out this saloon. Hopefully they got a uh, room we can stay in. Where is it? Is this it? I don't even know how to get into the saloon. Man, this is gonna be one, you know, hell of an adventure here. Okay, come on, let's see. This is one of them exclusive clubs, ain't it? Where you gotta like go into the back door. Is, excuse me, is this a saloon? Okay, I guess you don't really know. There we go. Holy crap. Hi there, folks. Good evening. Hey, folks. Now I believe I can stay overnight in here. Okay, where is the bartender? I need to speak with him. About renting a room. Perhaps. Okay. How you doing? I'd like to stay overnight. If you don't mind. And then uh, I'd like to do this question mark mission, sir. Let's just slip upstairs. It ain't letting me run. How you doing? Okay, let's take a load off. Apps. After all, we had a pretty big day. We caught a legendary fish and a legendary alligator. And that thing was huge. So, like, I believe it's some well-deserved rest, if you ask me. Here we go. Into the sleep. 
perfectly planned we go. After all, it is an ASMR video. Okay, now where is our question mark? Can we jump off the porch and find it? Can we do a trick and jump onto the horse? Okay, let's see if we can do the maneuver. We're stuck under the umbrella. We did it. We did the ancient trick jump of, of Red Dead 2 lore. And would you look at that, the question marks available as well. Holy crap, take it nice and easy. Okay, what's going on here? Hello? Uh, where, uh, what's going on here? Is it a glitch? Folks, I believe we've glitched a game. It says we've got a activity here. But, uh, there ain't nothing to see. We've glitched the game, folks. That's pretty cool. Well, I believe that'll be a good place to stop on this part 5 of Red Dead 2. And uh, hopefully you guys are enjoying these so far. And, uh, you know, suggest stuff for me to do in the game. Because there's so much crap to do in the game. So other than that, it's going to be Dalton out. And we'll see you for another video.